A very warm welcome to the learning home. Uh, in this video, we are going to discuss search box in Microsoft Word. And uh, before I start the discussion, I'd like to bring to your notice that I'm using Microsoft 365, which is the latest version as of now. So let's begin with what is search box in Microsoft Word. Uh, it is a very user-friendly feature in Word. Uh, it helps us to access any or all kind of features, even uh, information from the website and helps us to reduce the user input in forms of uh, mouse clicks. If you are not aware that where a certain feature is located or hidden in the tab and ribbon, we just search it in the search box and it will give you a little bit hint or idea that where it is located. Second thing is where this search box is located, you will see here a small box here in the center top you will see the search box. So third thing, let's explore what we all can do with this feature. So I'm going to show you something. Suppose I want to increase the font size and I don't want to go here or I don't know that this is located here. I will just go search font and you will see it is asking font size. I can change from here itself. If you want to increase the like font color, then you will see option here itself. And you can choose color from here itself. Suppose if you want to read aloud, just type it there. You can also search a Word document which is located in the OneDrive or we have permission to access that file. So let's say I'm going to search a document or if you don't remember it precisely where it is located, just search it. Like here I'm searching a learning home and it is going to suggest me that there is a file name. Is this file you're looking for? Yes, I'm looking for this file and it is also giving me a hint. It's modified on so on said so it. Just click it there. It will open up. This feature also helps us to pull the data from website and uh, give us some kind of uh, information. So let me show you one way of uh, searching something like imagine I want to get a little bit more information about the locusts. I'm going to type it here and you will see there are there is a definition itself here and First option is the find in documents. In this document, there are a lot of the word itself locus. So let me show you that one first also. When you click it, you will see there are multiple words in this article itself. So imagine we are not interested in that one. We want to get the data from the websites. So just click more search results from for locusts and you will see there is another box appeared on the right hand side and you will see first is the some kind of knowledge some kind of information taking from the sources like wikipedia it is also showing a lot of information this is all about the all results if you want to get a specific results so imagine we want to open files so just click files there is no uh, document with the file name locust we are going to the web and you will see again a lot of information is shown from the website. It is all about the locust, where locust is uh, quite common, uh, is a keyword in all the searches. You can also find the pictures. So just select the pictures and you will see it is showing multiple pictures with the help of Bing searches. Uh, you can also find some kind of help option, which you have to click it here. And unfortunately, there is no help option available for this keyword. Uh, let's look at some of the example where we can get some kind of help from the uh, this search box. So let's um, imagine I'm typing a word called learning and when we type it, you will see there is a 10 results get help on. Find the document. We have worked on this one. We are working. So let's look at what all the help option is available here. So I'm just going to click and you will see another box appeared here. So there is some kind of help option here. You may find it sometimes useful, sometimes not useful, but you can explore it based on your convenience. And last and final point of discussion is, you may have seen that uh, this search box is sometimes very small. It's not big like this, it's a small icon placed here. So let's see how we can uh, make it like this. If you don't want in this way, go to the option. And the first option general, you will see a uh, option called collapse the Microsoft search box by default. If you check it there, it will become smaller like this. And when you press it, it will appear. One more point to note that there is a shortcut called Alt Q to activate this uh, search bar. 
if you want to bring, bring it to the normal you have to go back again to the same option and you have to uncheck this option so with this we have came to an end of the discussion and hope it has given you a little bit of understanding about the power of search box in microsoft office 365 how you have found the video please do write in the comment section and if you have liked it please do like and share for more videos please do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will be notified about the upcoming videos with this i will say goodbye and see you soon